Hey guys, Avalo here, and I'm bringing you another guide. I believe this is the the eighth one. I've been doing these daily and then uploading them to YouTube. So by the end of like 30 days, it should be 30 guides. I've done one per day. I almost missed yesterday's, but I did manage to uh, to get that guide out. And so for, so uh, hopefully by the end of like 30 days, guys, it'll be you know I'm doing one video per day, one guide each video again. It, you know, in, in this series of guides will be some sort of useful information for you guys uh, for your gameplays for Terran. Uh, for the, for these first 20 or 30, they're going to be for Terran. I'll do Zerg and Protoss as well. So uh, you can look forward to that. So what's today? What's today's uh, lesson here? Depot placement. <laughs> the things that seem simplest you must be taught. So I'm going to teach you. In, in it... Again, in, you know, just a game by myself right here. Pretty easy way to teach you guys so you can... So I'll actually be playing this, so... Obviously, first depot at the ramp. Very important. <laughs> and you always want to hotkey that as well at the start of the game. A lot of people don't hotkey it, but you should. That way, uh... You can just move your screen right over to it. Just like this at the start of the game. That's why you see a lot of pros, a lot of streamers doing that. It's so you can move your screen quickly to that building. Alright, so now we'll... I'm just gonna build as I would normally in a game. And then... So I'm, I'm actually macroing right now. As I normally would in a in, a, in an actual game against somebody. Oops. So where does the sec... So we're just gonna go along here... Uh, Where's the second depot go, guys? Where do you think? Let's play, play the little door of the explorer here. Can you guys spot where the depot goes? Where would the second depot go? Does anyone know where the second depot would go? Oh, I wonder. But the timing of the depot matters. When do you build the second depot? So, for those who don't know, get your orbital, get your reaper. Usually you queue your SCV to the natural. It honestly, there. It honestly is such. If your opponent pr is proxying you or cannon rushing, I would build this right. Like you would get that right away. But let's assume a normal macro game. So let's just continue macroing as normal. Hotkey my command center. I'll give you guys some other tips besides the uh, depot placement for this one as well. Command center. Go ahead, and mule. Keep up SCV production. Rally. Just gonna continue on my build like I would in a normal game here. Hot keep my Reaper right as it comes out. Lift this. And again, just macroing. So now you get your second. A lot of players get their second depot right now on 21 supply, and then they get their gas afterwards. The second gas guys are hot keep my buildings. Keep up SCV production. Scout with the Reaper. Reaper's hot keyed. My command centers are hot keyed. My building, my production is hot keyed. So Reaper is on 1 and 3 for me. Constantly just monitoring the my buildings. Two guys on gas once this is done. Use the shift key to deselect one there. I did one guide on that guy, so if, you know. So how, you know. Alright, well, anyway, let's continue on. Let's, let's assume I'm going reactor for a reactor heli opener. Wow, my mouse is going crazy right I don't know why. Mouse is going crazy. Orbital, Mule the Natural, Reactor Hellions, Hot Keep my Starport as well, to my to my production, which for me is 9. Alright, so, I'm going to go over Depot Placement for Anti-Blink Stalker Depots, or, or what I like to call them. I think I was one of the first players that actually started really doing this. Uh, I know Ruff does it as well, He, I, I'm pretty sure he uses back... He actually uses factories and stuff to do it, but I think I was one of the one. Of, I was definitely one of the first people that was doing the uh, the anti blink stalker supply depot walls on ladder at least. So that's what I'll. So your next depot, guys. Your next depot is where do you build your third one? Well, you need vision. So this is called an anti blink stalker uh, supply depot right there. It's also the anti nidus worm depot. It's it's just the depot you build for vision in your base. So that if that is usually your third one. Also, you'll have a de you'll start building them. The next depots you build should be at your uh, at your wall and usually 
And I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna continue. I'm not macro perfectly. This guy. I should probably macro perfectly, but I just kind of want to show you guys how to how to deeper wall. So let's see. If this if this was against Protoss, boom. You can even build the eBay in the wall here. And so you guys might be wondering if you don't know what, why, why build them like this? Why build your? Well, it's better to make use of your depots than have them just. A lot of players just build them in the back of their base blindly, right? But that's pointless. Every depot needs to serve a purpose, especially against Zerg, like, holy shit. Like, for example, this would be a wall in TVZ, where, with your three depots in Command Center. And then this, you wouldn't do this against Zerg, usually, but this is a depot wall against, um, against Protoss, because what happens is, if a Protoss player goes Blink Stalkers, like, let's say they're all in you or something, and they're going Blink Stalkers, if you have a wall here, they can't blink up. They can blink up, but they'll be stuck. <laughs> they'll be stuck right here. They can blink up right here. So that means they have to blink here. But, it, you know, then you have one place to defend instead of two, which makes all the different... I mean, that's just GG. Like, um, that is the difference between it, winning and losing a game if you have a setup like this. So these are things that you guys need to uh, have in mind. So against Protoss... That anti-blink wall, especially well, especially if you're playing mech. A lot of bioterrans don't do this stuff or know about it or bother with it because with bio it's not as difficult to defend blink stalkers for the most part. So most uh, most players that play bio aren't going to really care about this. But for us mechian terrans or if you're playing sky terran, this is very important because blink stalker openers and style builds can do a lot of damage uh so where are your next depots here's another example you could have two depots there uh early game or mid game but then after this so where are your next depots after this like so you already have your well obviously when you lift your third you do want to actually complete the depot wall again you know as the game goes on as it progresses you'll have uh Oops, let me hot key this to 7. I forgot I built a 4th CC. My mouse is going crazy today. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to figure out what exactly is going on with my mouse here before I start laddering today. My, my mouse is going absolutely insane. Alright, anyways. Alright, so now, where's the next depot? Where do the next ones go? So as the game goes on, obviously you, you fill in your natural wall after you lift your CC. So the next one would go, you would build them here, and you guys have seen me do this in TVZ a lot. And this is something that people are wondering, like, damn, Avalu got a lot better uh, in the last, like, month or two or three. Like, people, some people are like, damn, like, he's beating a lot of good players now. It's because I'm, I'm doing stuff like this more consistently, or I have been in my games. So, for example, you put a depot there and there to finish off this wall. And so rather than, what is this? This is four, five, six... This is seven depots. A lot of players would just have them in the back of their base or just randomly scattered around like that. You do not want to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's pointless. Like, those depots serve no purpose. You're going to be building them anyways, so you might as well make use of... This will stop, like, roach all ins. Like, you can have a tank behind here. You can even build a turret in the wall or finish it off with uh, an eBay or whatever. So, uh, yeah. I mean... This stuff is just very, very, very important. The, the anti-blink wall, the anti-blink depot wall. You could probably even do it with the... Uh, yeah, I guess that wall you need four depots there at least. So usually you need four to five depots here. And then... Well, for, on this map, for example, your third requires a lot. Also, another... Like, you could even start... At a certain, like, against Zerg on this map, and on Triton in particular. Mineral field depleted. Uh, what... To protect your rally point, a lot of times you even make a depot wall there. Like you can set, like when you're still for your next set of depots, which you really after this many depots, you don't really like. I'm already at 200 supply, so there's no more de no more depots are necessary here. Obviously, this is this is like all the depots you're gonna need. So you can see I'm already at the 200 cap. I probably built too many. So uh, there you go. So. You have depots here. Against Zerg, these depots would probably be... You actually... It, it would be okay against Zerg to have 
these four, for example, in the back of your base or or here or, so, or something. Or or these four would eventually be like like I said, they'd be maybe maybe at your rally pointers or or, or whatever. Um, but against Protoss, this is definitely the anti blink wall if you're playing mech. Really really good. Uh, necessary, I would say. Might as well. The depots are your third. Obviously, these depots will be vulnerable, but that's okay because, you know, they help you turtle up. You know, it's, it's, this is like making your turtle shell. It's, you know, Terran's the turtle race, or, well, it used to be in StarCraft 1. But, you know, some of us still like to turtle in StarCraft 2. Anyways, uh, so there you go. There's, uh, oh, building armor does increase the armor of depots. <laughs> so, uh, that's nice. So there you go, guys. There's a uh, supply depot placement guide. Uh, some players will even hotkey their depot, like their rally point, the depot that's at the rally point. But you don't have to do that. But it is something you could think about, you know. That way you can easily move your screen back to your rally quickly. But I just use five for my main, six for my natural, seven for my third. And that's good enough, uh, you know. So I'm trying to think. Uh, I think that's about it. So, guys, make use of your supply depots on ladder. Like, don't just scatter them throughout your base. Like, make sure you're walling off with them. Use them. Like, you will win more games. You will, like, stuff like Zergling all-ins, uh, uh, charge lot all-ins, like, these, the Blink Stalker all-ins into your base. The supply depots are powerful. These things are actually very powerful. <laughs> this is part, supply depots are the heart part of the heart of the Terran race, guys. And and a lot of you guys are not using them properly, and you're dying to stuff like Ling Bane all-ins and stuff that you shouldn't die to because you don't have depots blocking in front of your army. And that's, you know, that's a huge... That will help you, so do it! Make the depots, and consistently, consistently do this. Don't be lazy. Alright, anyways. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you want for the next guide. Hopefully this information has been useful to you, and you learned something, and now you will Upgrade complete. slowly but surely, they, you know, as these as these guides come out, you know, unit selection, dropship micro, uh, what else have I done already? Uh, widow mine drop build opener, uh, how to hotkey your army, like, all these Thank things you. will go together, and I hope they will help make you a better player, and that you, that you pick they up things that you did not know, so... Anyways, I will see you guys later. Make sure you like the video, uh, spread it around, uh, leave a comment what you want for the next one. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys on stream, and I will see you later. Peace out, peoples.